This is a presentation that I created using a tool called ZAI and it was created by a model called GLM 4.5. So this is a new open source model that can do a lot of things and in some ways this model is actually better than some other models like GPT 4.1 and even Cloud for Opus. And of course this model is open source and there are so many tools that you could utilize to make something out of this model. One example is this presentation that I created via Z.ai and as you can see it is able to research some pictures and content for the presentation and these pictures are actually not random they are correlated to the content that presented on the slide for example there is this presentation that provides the evidence of moon rocks and it shows a picture of a moon rock and there is also this section that talks about the laser that is being used to calculate the distance between the earth and the moon and that laser is actually at least the technology is also being left on the moon so uh, people from earth can actually calculate the distance using that technology that exists on the moon so these pictures are definitely related or relevant to the content of the slide and that's really one benefit of using this AI tool to create a presentation. Now just to give you some context, I created a presentation using the exact same prompt on Gemini and this is what it gave me. It's not exactly an exciting presentation, it's really just some text-based content. There is no visual element at all and uh, maybe the closest thing or at least Perplexity Labs is a bit better because at least it is able to do some research about the pictures and even though the design is not quite as good as the one from ZLM, this is still somewhat decent and maybe the only AI tool that I would think of that could exceed the visual of GLM is this one from GenSpark AI, something that I have talked about many times on my previous videos but maybe the only thing that is different on GenSpark is that it has too many tags. I think the content is so jam-packed and maybe I need to improve the prompt a bit to force the eye to not write too many tags on the presentation. But overall, it looks decent while the GLM taking, uh, takes a much more simplistic approach. And I would say this could be something that was created by a real person. So let me show you how you can create a presentation using ZAI that is being powered by the latest open source model, GLM 4.5. So number one, you can navigate to z.ai and you can create a free account. And what's unique about this AI platform is that there is no subscription at all. It's completely free. There is no option to pay for a premium or a plus subscription like in ChatGPT. But I guess it is because it is still brand new. That's why they don't have any plan to make revenue out of those. But I'm sure that in the future, there's going to be some premium model in this uh, platform. But anyway, if you want to create a presentation, you can start a new chat and you can click AI slides right here. And that will enable multiple tools from this platform. It will enable web search, slide maker, and image search. I think the last one is very important. You don't want to create a presentation that is only text. You want to add some pictures to make the content more interesting. Now you can describe what is the presentation that you want to create. In this case, I have prepared a simple prompt that I'll use as a demonstration, but you can use any prompt as you like. And also it is possible to upload some documents to, become, uh, to accompany your prompt and AI can read into that and will create a presentation based on the document. Now, when you're done, you can click this button and just wait for GLM 4.5 to generate a presentation based on the prompt. Now, this process will take quite some time. It will probably be done in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the length of the presentation. And I'll just skip forward and show you the final result. All right, so this is the document that was created and I think it looks decent, but if you're not quite happy with the result, you can always go back to the chat mode and you can tell AI about the things that you might want to change. For example, here I'll tell AI to redesign the whole document, use less text, but add more images. And you can send a message and wait for a few minutes again for this AI to redesign the whole thing. So this is the presentation that was created and it is definitely an improvement over the previous design. But maybe the only problem is there 
isn't much a picture there is only one picture at the beginning but i guess that's okay because uh, this presentation is mostly talking about some numbers anyway if you want to present this in front of your audience you can click this button display button and it should open a new tab and you can start the presentation right there now right now when i'm recording this video there is no option to download this as a document format like pbdx or maybe you you cannot export it to uh, google slides so you can only use this presentation directly on their own platform but i'm sure that in the future there's going to be an option to at least use this on a different platform or download it as a offline document but that's basically how we can use zai especially using the glm 4.5 to create a presentation using a prompt or using a document thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead